Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick video. Um, I got some boxes with different things in them and wanted to see if you guys want to check them out and just talk about a few things. So let's grab one of those now. a box from game trays looks like let's crack it open game trays are pretty awesome um, they've got all these cool little plastic trays that um, you see these inside and stuff like that um, you can put all the resources in there um, these are actually really cool because they have like this fabric liner um, on it which is pretty awesome. And they've got all different colors you can get them in, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, they also sent me this Eclipse um, board thing that you can put all the upgrades for Eclipse in there. So um, you put all the upgrades in and pass that around the table. Um, and those are pretty tight. Um, bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble wrap. Then this is one where you put the technology tracks for Eclipse on there. So um, as you have all your technology sitting out, you can have them um, here um, so they don't slide around the table. And this is the main thing that I was super excited about is this is the tray for um, Terraforming Mars. So Terraforming Mars has this big board that you put all the stuff in and you can put all your little cubes and stuff in here to keep track of everything. It's another one of those games where there's just cubes everywhere all over everything so definitely i'm um, going to try to do a full review of this showing off how this looks with all the game components in it as well so make sure to check that out speaking of game trays have you seen this insanity oh my goodness this thing is ridiculous so all the plastic trays inside the mechs versus minions box were made by the same people who made the other trays i showed before um, and these things are ridiculous so if any company wants to get amazing trays for their game, definitely make sure to check out game trays. Um, I can't imagine like how long it took for them to engineer all the trays and they just keep coming. So you have this one and another thing I love that's innovative about these trays is the fact that all the little minions that go inside the tray, there's several different sculpts for all the little guys and um, they, all fit in every single one of these. So you don't have to be like, I know I get a lot of games from Cool Mini or not and stuff like that. And when I try to put them back in the trays, it's like, oh man, does it go here or go there? Same thing with Conan. It's like, when you go to put the game up and you wanna keep those nice trays that they have in there, but um, you can't figure out where everything goes. These are awesome because everything fits in everything with these little minions. And there's one, two. These are all full of minions. You've got your yordles here. Um, they've got trays down in here that fit all of the little brochures thing. And there's like minions shoved in every little space you could ever think to have them. Um, places to hold all your player boards. And then a giant one down at the bottom as well. Um, and a giant box that has secret surprises in it. If you guys haven't checked out Mix vs. Minions, um, you literally have no reason not to because it is the best value you can get for like your money. It is ridiculous. I know there's a huge hype train on this game, but it's because everybody who bought it like loves it and plays it. I am all the way up to the fourth mission so far. When we opened and did the, the third one, I was just amazed. Like this game just keeps surprising me. So I'm super excited to finish it all the way out. So yeah, awesome. I'm also gonna be checking out a couple of games I got from Tasty Minstrel. Um, the one I think I wanna do an unboxing of and show you guys the components to is this game right here. Ares Alchema, all that glare. 
but uh, it, it's pretty cool. It looks like a worker placement game um, where you're trying to get different alchemical components to um, make potions and things like that to make the villagers happy. So uh, let's take a look. One thing I think is pretty interesting or pretty funny is that uh, all the cards in the game right out of the box are completely mixed up, like they're not in their own individual decks. It looks like Tasty Minstrel Games has been taking uh, some tips from Upper Deck there. Everybody loves sorting out their legendary games, but uh, let me sort these real quick. I really wonder how much money a company saves by um, not sorting out the uh, the cards for the game because I'm sure they get printed in these big sheets like with the different quantities like okay there's one of each of these and two of each of these. Um, I wonder how much a company saves. With a game like this there's not that many cards so it doesn't really matter but when you're doing games like Marvel Legendary or I, I had to sort out uh, Legendary Predator and it was ridiculous especially when you go into a game not knowing what's going on and then you do that so uh, if companies could sort their games or um, things like that um, that would be awesome. Now let's see how this looks set up. It's pretty interesting overall. One of the things I think is pretty cool is that the uh, resource locations here um, that you go to, you put your workers on there and get resources. Um, they have your guaranteed resources that you can get, but then you also roll a die and could get extra resources. So if you want to go here and get a um, green and a blue, um, which are your different resources here on your cards, um, to fulfill um, different orders and try to make different potions, and you use these workers to give you abilities. Um, but you could go here and be guaranteed a green and blue and maybe have a chance of a red, or you could go here and get a, a um, white and then have a chance of getting a green, blue, or white, um, which is pretty interesting. And they all have cool al alchemical names for everything um, in the game that uh, make it a lot more thematic for that sort of stuff. But uh, it looks pretty awesome overall. Um, I'm not one that's huge on all sorts of different cube push pushers or um, crazy games like that. But the fact that it looks like a super lightweight um, Euro worker placement game, I'm definitely excited to try it out. Um, one thing that I do love is they have this awesome like teal color. Um, more games should come with this color. I wonder if it's hard for colorblind people to see this stuff, but I love this color. Like, teal is the best. Um, like in Dead Last, I always pick teal, and uh, you just don't see teal in that many games. Or maybe it's Aquamarina, I don't know, something like that. Um, but yeah, that is Ares Alchema. I hope I'm not butchering that too much. So what's up with me? I've been working hard to make all sorts of different board game media. I have my podcast I'm working on. I'm doing a lot more videos for the Dice Tower now. If you haven't seen, I started doing reviews on there as well, which is pretty exciting. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to make all sorts of different stuff. I've been doing the Throw Punch Lunch stuff, and now I'm trying to do this as well. Um, but yeah, let me know um, what board game media you guys like and what you're into. And um, I'm just trying to do something different and hopefully this stuff will work out. Um, I'm super excited about anything in the hobby that brings people in and gets people excited about gaming. So that's the main point of doing any of this stuff is to get people excited about gaming, coming together and playing games together and learning about other people. It's uh, awesome. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next time. Someone teach me how to use Premiere Pro.